Hello, I want to talk about the German artist and art performer and philosopher Jonathan Miese, the most amazing artist in the world. And I also like his art. It is, it is a flow of things and it is metabolism, as he always says. And it is life in full flow, in full blood flow. There is no stagnation anywhere and he walks his talk and that is his message for humanity. Be in full flow. And a lot of people when they watch his art performances. I think most people don't understand what this is about. They think this is like a comedy or this is Dadaism or this is just some kind of questioning of, I don't know, of the old ways or this some, it's just, they don't really know what, what he's trying to say, I think. That's what I see in the comment section under his videos. I'm going to put a link of one of his, I, I would say the greatest interview in all times, an interview of his mother and him interviewed in front of a an art establishment that he has m likes, like a whole room that is it's a scenario of different items in it that the whole room is is the art and it's like a it's a prison cell and in that prison there there are all kinds of collected items that he has collected over the time and that he has put into in in a in some kind of correlation with one another in some kind of dialogue with one another boxes and and um, mannequins and teddy bears and different toys that he collects he will go into a store and he will see something that he that that speaks to him that that has a character in itself you see something that has an energy that is in sync with what he's doing and then he'll get that and and later on he will incorporate that into his like a ready-made sort of collage you know. so you can I don't know how this is called but it's like a, a room establishment of different things that are in correspondence with one another and he also adds paint to it and and sculptures and different things to to create that image that he wants to create like some kind of yeah the message is always the same metabolism and uh, let's not shy away from from certain stigmata or let's and that and and I recognize the great artist philosophers with this same message. Um, Jeff Koons has that same message. Like, let's not shy away from certain socially agreed on stigmatizations. You know, let's let's view everything as that what it really is. This is just a balloon. This is not. This is not stigmatized, this is not kitsch, this is not low class, this is just what it is. You know. And also embrace big breasts, embrace all of this. Let's be glad if we have that. And so just, you know, not stigmatize anything, not, not say, the color pink is tacky, you know. I'm wearing pink right now. I love pink. Pink is my absolute favorite color. The most favorite color of all. And I love pink mm, in its 
shiny pureness I don't like black mixed into it so but I when I so close I only wear pink or pink and like this pants here for example you know it has pink different pinks together and maybe a light blue in it as well or some other pastels mixed in but not black or not dark colors mixed into it so my hair is dark so that's just I can't help it that, that's just the way it is but um, and I'm never gonna bleach my hair why should I break my hair my beautiful beautiful hair you know it's already hard with all the toxins that we eat it's already hard on the hair why bleach it and make it even more coarse and 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 brittle or split yeah. so it doesn't make any sense so we need to nourish our hair I just used henna that's a plant essence and I put that in my hair overnight and it is gorgeous and comes out very gorgeous beautiful covers up that the, the gray and so wherever that red is shiny that's where the where some gray heart hair is <laughs> and I like it you know I like this kind of like a cat type of melange that comes out like this it's very nice but I'm anti-establishment I'm I'm anti bleach and all of this but that's n it's I'm not trying to say that um, I find women with bleach hair tacky I don't I find uh, them I find them pretty to look at and I love the way Pamela Anderson looks like and and many other girls beautiful you know they're just beautiful I just would like to say to them you're beautiful already you don't need to add all the these things to it or or you know strip things to fit better in or be like on the on the number one list of desirable items <laughs> in society you know so that there's no need for it why 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 want to be desirable to every man uh, I don't see the need for it at all I mean I have a husband and why should I be desirable to anyone else but I guess I guess what it is is the reason why women want to be desirable for all men as for as many men as possible is because it it feeds the ego and the ego covers up the emotional pain so that's how it works so when you work on that pain issue from the past when you dissolve that then you don't no, you no longer have the need to be the sex symbol you know, so and walk down the and and some kind of back alley in New York and get raped and so why yeah I'd rather look big and tough so I'm I'm already, I'm very big I'm tall I'm strong when I first came to LA when I was 26 um, my friend Annalise who was my therapist when I was a child she was there too and she was worried about me and I said well, why are you worried I, I can walk anywhere I want to know nobody bothers bothers me at all you know I and I did walk uh, through back alleys in LA and even when the sun was setting when it was starting to get dark even in in total darkness sometimes and nobody bothered me ever I mean one time I got people were driving by and throwing beer cans at me but <laughs> but um, but they didn't dare to come out of their cars one time people threw eggs at me when I was riding my bicycle down on uh, towards Inglewood on what's it called what was the street Manchester Boulevard I think and um, all I said is why did you do this and they just they got scared and drove off it's like 
no no guy ever dared to come up to me or hurt me physically like this you know they would it's always drive by coward type of actions and then quickly driving off uh, one time guy stopped on the side of the road that was during the day I was wearing war I was I was wearing these big hiking boots and he thought that was dykish so he had to make a comment and he he hollered something over I couldn't hear what it was probably dyke or something like this and he had a bunch of other girls in the car he, who he was trying to impress with this really cowardly action so he stopped there and he hollered something with the sadistic smirk on his face so I walked right over to him and as I was walking closer he got real scared. He had the scared panic look on his face because I looked him right in the eyes and I walked right over there and he was like, oh my gosh, uh, quickly drove off. And these girls in the car, they were like turning their heads after me like this. Who is that? What is, I don't understand why, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe, I hope that they'll maybe question this guy a little bit. Like, why did he do this? Uh, maybe I shouldn't be hanging out with this guy, you know. But, um, so, yeah, I, I am me. <laughs> and I'm not playing Barbie or I'm not... I am glad I'm tall. I am glad nobody messes with me. And I have I have an enormous amount of volcanic anger inside of me. And I guess that also radiates out when I'm walking down the street somewhere. And also makes people not like me, of course. People people only like people who are who are um who are not a threat to them in any way. Know, who are who are also bending down to society's pressure you know you, people like people who who are not a threat intellectually or in any other way egoically or physically so and sorry i don't fit that image i am me and i like being me i happen to be me so make the best out of it i guess you know so so why hide it? And the message is loud and clear. It's the same message as the message by Jonathan Mese. It needs to get out. His message is stop idolizing anyone and start to listen to yourself. Experience, as S.N. Guenka said, experience for yourself. See for yourself. Go within yourself. And Jiddu Krishnamurti said, examine yourself. Go within and become your own observer. And when you do this, you are standing strong and tall on your own. You don't need anything. You don't need alcohol. You don't need any kind of substance. You don't need any kind of crutch, mental or physical. You don't need any kind of guru, any kind of dictator or minister to tell you how things work. You will find out yourself. You will experience. Okay, That doesn't mean you have to now like, do the opposite and become a, like, a, like a total anarchist or become like a bad person. Or no, no, not at all. Um, not being religious is is not synonymous with now going out and doing all kinds of horrible things. It's quite the opposite. People who are religious, they justify horrible things. They do a lot more horrible things and they do a lot more against the flow of life than for it. So if you are standing on your own and you have no more crutch, you will find out pretty soon who you are and who the other living beings around you are. And that they all want to live, that they all want to feel good. They all want to 
proliferate. Every worm wants to proliferate. When you watch a worm, how a worm walks through life, you know, slithers through the, the mud. When the worm feels good, he expands. He becomes very long and he checks everything out, you know, every niche and cranny and he eats a, a bunch of things. He's in a flow of metabolism, okay? We need worms. Worms are the most important beings here on earth. Without them, things would not be decomposing. It would be a disaster. Ev everything would get sick if we didn't have worms. Worms are our cleansers, scavengers, and, and recyclers. They are, the, they are the recycle system of planet Earth. They do a remarkable job. And we need to let them live and not poison them with things. Not pour gasoline on a stuff. Not put a gasoline into a pond. Not put toxic stuff into your septic tank you know you know you never have to call the rotor rooter to, to the pump guy who pumps your septic tank out never have to ever have to do this if you live a lifestyle of pro all life pro all life okay? not just pro human dna yeah? that's bullshit human dna is 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 completely immersed in all the other life too. We're all in this together. There's no separation at all. Okay, We need to be good to the plants, the animals, and, and our own skin cells, our own body cells. Okay? All of this is life, all together. Okay? Not one separated from the other. Okay? Not one better than the other. Okay, The worm is just as uh, equally important because the worm is recycling things and making things wonderful for everything else. It's a, it's a balanced ecosystem. That's, that's value. And this is also the message of Yonatan Mises. That's value metabolism for all beings. You know, everyone wants to live, everyone wants to proliferate, everyone wants to grow and check things out and learn and and multiply the worm just splits at some point I guess that's what they do and so yeah and the more complex organisms they made and all of this is beautiful there's no shame in this humans have put so much shame into into mating, you know, there is no shame in it at all. It's what Madonna said: there is no dirty sex unless people don't take showers. Okay, and that's how it is. No shame in anything, and that's also what um, what Jeff Koons is trying to tell people: now stop this shaming and the stigmatization and this and this classism and this hier hierarchical way of thinking. We need to come back to the roots of things. You know, who are we? What do we want? And let's recognize what our body needs and what other bodies need around us. And let's be for the bodies around us, even more than for ourselves. That's true love. And, and that, that brings incredible joy back to us as well. But let's love for the love purpose, not for gaining something in return. Take care.